This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. So yeah, it's it starts out basically just a word-for-word -word repeat of Act 1, but then... Oh, you've unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Heck yes. I can't convince myself to go to therapy when I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'd rather keep this up until I blow my cover and someone takes me to the emergency room. That's not ominous or anything. And honestly, that's one of the less creepy special poems. There's one special poem that is highly disturbing. Okay, well now we get to choose whether we go for the Yuri route or the slower Yuri route. <laughs> You've never seen that one? Oh, Marty, have you seen the really creepy one with the drawing? It's disturbing. No spoilers, but there you go. Okay, well... We did say Ori who was best girl first time. We say Ori's gone now, so we can't do that. So, hmm. It's Happy Thoughts. Yep, it's Happy Thoughts. That one is messed up. All right, I'm. I don't care what anybody says. We're doing the Yuri route because, well, it's uh, it's disturbing. Okay, Universe Judgment. Also, it's unlikely to happen, but pay attention to Yuri's sprite here. It's very unlikely, but there's a chance something really creepy can happen. Unrestrained. Excitement. Oh, that's wrong. Shoot. Despise. Fester. Depression. Analysis. Contamination. Frightening. Climax. Graveyard. Intellectual. Heaven sent. Uncontrollable. Vivacious. Misfortune. Philosophy. Ambient. Imagination. Ah! Okay. That happened. Okay, that was the freakiest thing I've ever seen. Was not expecting that. That one caught me off guard. Okay, then. <laughs> there actually is a subtle difference between the Yuri and Natsuki roots, but... Yep, that's that's part of the happy thoughts drawing right there. Hi again, Artie. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> ah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. That one made you yell? I'm sorry. It also made me kind of yelp. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Don't make that... Thanks for keeping your promise, Artie. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on! Like he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. The music is off-key. Music is off-key, and also, everything seems to be slowly tilting sideways. Oh, boy. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, you won't see the end of it. And Monica's standing in front of the text box now. Natsuki, you have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki pops back into her seat. I'm sorry, Artie. We'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Um, anyway, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read? Well, I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in the club now, so it only feels right for me to do something like that if you ask. W wait I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Uh, no, it's not that, Yuri. I want to try and be a part of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Uh, are you sure? I just felt like, well, as vice president and all, that I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it, if you wanted. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? Well, she won't be cute for long. Fun fact, in, in this part of the game, Yuri turns into probably the most frightening character I've ever seen. Just heads up. She even picked up a book that she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you! I'll definitely read this. 
<laughs> nice job, boyfriend. I enthusiastically take the book. <sighs> well, you can read it at your own pace. It's also zooming in. I look forward to hearing what you think. Yep, you can just see it zoomed out and twisted back. All right, now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. She's so lazy. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. Can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It seems like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first two pages. Ugh. Crap! I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and our eyes meet for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in the book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. I'm under this sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just reenacting a bit of this, so... Uh, duh! What's happening to Fury's eye? <laughs> eyes to yourself, Yuri. Eyes to yourself. Yeah. Yuri, that's... What have we told you about making your eyes disappear from your body? <laughs> Yuri, this is not acceptable behavior to have right now. I see a problem with this. <laughs> That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious, but how come you have two copies of the same book? Uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday... Uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's the story about, anyway? Well... Mm -hmm. I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous-looking eye symbol on the front cover. How am I getting all the rare stuff? Because I'm streaming it. That's how. Excuse me. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a exper human experiment prison. Yeah, pretty normal stuff. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to... Uh, oh, that might be a bit of a spoiler. A BIT?! What the... F I almost said a naughty word. What the frick it kind of a book is this? But anyway, I I'm really into it. The book, I mean. Uh, not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, but then the dark turn came from nowhere. It's like this game. Uh, are you not a fan of that sort of thing already? Correct! No, it's not that. I, I mean, I could definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those kind of things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind it seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story... It's the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. Then suddenly... I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body gets incredibly... Uh, uh, can I can I look at that again? Nope, it erased it from the history. <laughs> I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. Uh, so I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Ah, uh, that's... well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? We got Dragon Eye Yuri 2? Wow! We have literally gotten, like, every rare screen. <laughs> yes. Uh, I mean, you don't have to, but... Uh, what are you saying? L let me just get the book. If we get the Yuri sticker glitch, I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? <laughs> for like a second, Yuri's... F for like half a second, Yuri's sprite flashed so like her clothes were red, her hair was black, and her, her eyes became like reptilian and purple. 
for like half a second. Boyfriend's- <laughs> YOUR BOYFRIEND IS WATCHING THIS?! Oh no, I'm never gonna live this down. <laughs> I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad vein, but maybe a little distracting. But the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. S sorry I was just bathing in the feeling of your body! <laughs> Yuri, you ap really apologize a lot, don't you? Uh, I, I do? I wonder if he'll still think that. Yes, it is a self-aware game. <laughs> I, I don't really mean to. Sorry. I, I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk up until it's against Yuri's, and then hold my book between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Yuri freaks out a lot in Act 2. Once we lean in a bit, a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. I guess that makes it difficult to turn the page. Here. Here. Oh, the Yuri CG. Yuri takes her out her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ugh. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. Ye gads, we can't do this until we're married. It actually is kind of distracting me. I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Bleh? To turn the page. Oh! I thought you were talking about to get married. Oh, sorry. I think I got a little distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again, and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. I, I'm a slow reader, Yuri. It's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Yeah. I mean, that thing about the body heat was weird, but thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it on my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds you of me of you a little bit. Eh? Uh, uh? No, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all that. Uh, 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 that's what you were talking about. <laughs> Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Uh, never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. <laughs> oh my gosh, she got crazy eyes already. It's only day two of Act 2 and she already has crazy eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling all right? Eh? Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hands on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. A anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. All right, don't push yourself. Oh, are we getting that scene already? Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Oh, I think we're getting that scene already. Artie? Did something happen just now? Oh, Monica, so much just happened. Huh? I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange. Just a little, only a little bit. So you don't know anything. Uh, sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. <laughs> I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. How dare you? No, nothing! <laughs> don't worry. I believe you, silly. Oh, that's right, if you do the- if you actually go out of your way to do the Yuri that scene happens twice. And it's creepy. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start sharing our poems with each other? What? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Is that okay? I- yeah, I was just asking- I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. Who should I show my poem to first? Oh! Oh, never mind, we're not getting that scene just yet. 
Okay, let's show it to Natsuki from Monica. I should start with Monica. Yesterday, she seemed eager to read my poem, and I want her to know I'm putting in effort. Hi, Artie! Having a good time so far? Oh, yeah! Good! Glad to hear it! By the way, since you're new in everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Plus, some weird stuff's happening. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ha ha ha! Don't worry, Artie. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mmm! Great job, Artie! I was going, ooh, in my head while reading it. It's a grocery list. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect for you to go for something so deep. I wonder why that is. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Yeah, it's a grocery list of 20 words. Of course she read it in two seconds. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing, though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that she, it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. <laughs> I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Monica, you are the master of backhanded compliments. Like earlier, I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Suddenly, the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Uh-huh. Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm so glad that you took all the, more all the time you needed. All right. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. It doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glance at my surroundings. But my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it re reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right here. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. That's different from your Act 1 poem. Is Monica's left eye bigger than her right? Um... Maybe, but I don't have MS Paint open, so I can't tell you. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ha, <laughs> it's okay. Oh, wait, we can skip through all that, because we've already seen it before. Oh, yay. Okay. Natsuki, what do you think? Hmm? Okay. No, 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 there's something we can get here. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> That's creepy. That can happen if you write a really bad poem for Natsuki. <laughs> uh, Natsuki, keep your eyes to yourself, alright? Artie, if you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home. W what? Harsh. What, you expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I, I did. I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Painful to think about? Fine. Well, sorry. You be you'll get better anyway. I'll tell you how to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. Yeah, I've seen that one before. Yeah. Do, 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 do. All right, Yuri. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Huh? What was that? <laughs> Arthur, this is the single greatest thing I've ever read, and I've read plenty. <laughs> did, did I just say that out loud? 
Yuri covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. <laughs> He's going to hate me? Um... You really think you calling my poem exceptional is going to make me hate you and not you talking about how you wanted to bathe in my body heat? You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Well, that's just not true. Uh -huh. That's... Uh, I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? I just scribbled 20 random words I thought you'd like down. Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Well, I know that. I just meant, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words in the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah, okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. Yeah, I've seen that before. And her poem, I believe, was the same as it was in Act 1. So, I like getting to see that. That's a lot more psalm, yeah. That's impressive. Uh, it's nothing, really. Yours was impressive, too, so... Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Uh... <laughs> Picks random words, Yuri. This is art. <laughs> Pretty much. You know, I was really nervous about doing all this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Artie. Ah, me too. I'm going to do my best for me as well. Phew! I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. There was a little more... That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing skills. Only one! Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. Oh. I love that. I love that off-key music. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. They read in tandem, and I watch each of their expressions change. <laughs> I know, yep. Pay attention to the posters back there. They can change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Huh? Um, did you say something? I'm pretty sure I just said that out loud. Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you just completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was just trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you had to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it didn't really come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Huh! <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it, and Artie did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Mm. And Artie liked my poem, too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, uh, that's not what I... Uh, you're, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Artie appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how did you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Because you said it in a crabby way. Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ooh. Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Artie started showing up. N Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! Taking out your own insecurities on others like that. You really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Me? Look who's talking, you wanna be edgy bitch! Edgy? I love how that's the part of it that she was offended by. Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only thing cute about you is how hard you try. 
Whoa! Be careful or you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh, my bad. You already do, don't you? T did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let Artie hear everything you really think. He'll sh be sh I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. <laughs> ah! Suddenly Yuri turns toward me as if she just noticed I was standing there. Artie, she she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. I'm gonna get trying to this. I don't know, but whoever I choose will probably like me more. Yuri. 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 Oh, hi, Monica. I would have picked you if you were there, but... Nope. You're a little too close, though. Like, you're literally in front of the text box. Can you move behind that? Um, hey, Artie? Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay? Yeah, that's probably for the best. We'll just let them do their, do their, do their own thing. Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Ha ha ha! Way to break it up, Monica. You're, you're great. Some president I am, huh? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be, I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. And, oh man, she's crying big time. She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Artie. Please don't hate me. Please! I'm not like this! There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me as if she wants to say something. But she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so... Please let me take that responsibility today. Kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that! It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Artie. Uh, it would just be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble, but I really appreciate you and... <laughs>